Um, I think this this is a really really monumental day for for the continent. We've got three of these centers, regional centers of excellence for biodiversity, forest and, and seascapes that we will manage across uh, Africa over the next uh, four years. One in West Africa, one in Central Africa and one in Eastern Southern Africa. And we're launching the Eastern and Southern Africa Center today. It's a big milestone because we, we know that without data on biodiversity without data on forest we cannot make good decisions about how we move forward with 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 managing those in a sustainable way so this is huge because it allows us to get sufficient data for for making decisions at all levels whether you're talking at the site level for protected areas or you're talking about the landscape level even at county level and and also looking at how uh, uh, you work on it and, and C4 ECRAF has been working on this with RCMRD4. No, I mean, one of the good things about uh, RCMRD is a specific mapping capacity. That's the mandate of RCMRD and they do that really well. Um, so that is going to be supporting Kenya and the 24 countries. Um, C4 ECRAF brings in a lot of the other forest. Uh, data that is required uh, as well with other partners like JRC uh, uh, would bring in uh, some support also on, on data and informatics. The importance of this particular project that we have launched today is that it will provide information to our countries on how they can make decisions based on how biodiversity and forestry and seascapes are expanding or growing in our regions. If there are any challenges that we have, uh, in, for example, in the conservancies, the forestry or the wildlife sectors, we will be able to pinpoint where it's happening, how it's happening, and what are some of the efforts that the decision makers can make to ensure that this does not continue happening. Um. And uh, I'm also happy to say that this is a center that Kenya has hosted for the last close to 50 years now. Um, and we want to um, urge our partners uh, from all sectors to really support uh, the need for us to uh, not only do mapping of our resources, but we need to map. Uh, communicate the data that is uh, um, derived from the mapping. But beyond that, this data, research findings and information has to uh, translate to change, meaningful change for Kenyans and indeed for all the other member states um, of the regional uh, of the regional center for resource mapping. And it is instructive to note that uh, it is uh, composed of 24 different countries. And, uh, you know, having all the stakeholders come here together today to support and uh, inaugurate the Center of Excellence is a statement that uh, this is a critical uh, part of our natural resource management. And the focus on forests, biodiversity and seascape is, uh, cannot be overemphasized. We have 17% to work uh, hard around. And like I mentioned, the, one of the critical um, aspects of that initiative is the monitoring and evaluating how many um, you know trees we are growing also monitoring the maturity of the trees and you know um, the success of the entire program in the next 10 years and we have an application that we have worked on with various partners and now with the partnership with the regional center on resource mapping and uh, all the other players who can come in together is to ensure again the monitoring and uh, evaluation aspect of our resources is 